Well, you know, he was totally nice and fine. And, you know, we're thankful to him that he gave us an interview. Um, there was some moments where we were scratching our head. I don't know. It, he was yelling at someone in the other room that wasn't there. There was nobody in the other room after he flubbed the line. Um, but <laughs> besides that, um, you know, he was, he was totally nice. We didn't shake his hand because at that point uh, we're like, we heard he's a germaphobe, so he obviously got over that. Though. I was the only one that see... got to touch him because I mic'd him up. So you didn't get to see the hands, then. That's what you're saying. Uh, although after after the interview, um, he called up Roger and he said, uh, "You should be careful of these guys. I don't think they have your best interest at at heart." So you know, he certainly felt that so our no questions one... were a little bit too penetrating. They weren't softballs enough for him. So nobody had done their homework on you before sitting you down to interview a presidential candidate who had a likely shot at winning the election. And Roger Stone hadn't said anything to him. He learned in the interview that he had assigned a sheet for beforehand that you may not be diehard Republicans. Well, this was, this was still the You're era where idiot. really Sorry. anybody could have gotten an interview with Trump. I mean, I think that some school newspapers were interviewing him. <laughs> In so, the line behind uh, you. Yeah, right. I mean, it was. I can't say that it was because, you know, we were such respected journalists that he decided to sit down with us. We just had a camera and it was pointed at him. And one thing we learned about Trump <clears throat> with Roger is that even in his largest big uh, uh, business operations, he's still a very shoestring operation kind of person. He has a very, very small number of people that he turns to, that he trusts. He often fires them, and then a few years later rehires them because he doesn't really have anyone else that he trusts as much or who proven their loyalty to go to. So Comey will be coming back is what you're saying? <laughs> uh, Comey ain't coming back. But so someone like uh, Steve Bannon, who right now is not fired yet, but he easily could be fired or brought back in. That's the way Trump operates in many ways. And when we interviewed Donald Trump, one of the questions he didn't like was that we asked him about one of his public feuds with Roger, where they were in, on TV calling each other losers. And uh, that is the kind of relationship he's had with Roger and with a lot of the people in his inner circle. It's a very intensely love-hate relationship. <laughs>